Well, guys, here is some big breaking news. We've talked about it here before with licenses expiring, renewals, and other things that would be coming up in regards to the Marvel Netflix shows and the Marvel TV license that was signed all the way back close to a decade ago. Well, now the time is up and all the Marvel MCU shows that were part of the Netflix catalog are officially set to leave Netflix on March 1st. All right, guys, so this was first discovered, and I believe they're the ones with the credit for the exclusive. If anybody else reports it, the credit does go to whatsonnetflix.com. So they put up an article in which they describe how if you've ever watched a show before, obviously if you started it, you know, start, stop, if you haven't finished it, if it's something that you need to continue watching, not something that you're just getting into, you guys have seen before how that can affect what shows up as the status of the show. Well, as of February 11, 2022, when they decide to look through the catalog and see what's listed for Marvel Studios, this includes Daredevil Season 1 through 3, Jessica Jones Season 1 through 3, Blue Cage Season 1 and 2, Iron Fist Season 1 and 2, The Defenders, the limited series, and Punisher Season 1 and 2 are all officially set to leave Netflix on March 1st of 2022. Now, this would be two years on the dot after Netflix canceled the last of the shows, which again, this kind of makes sense. So the bigger picture here is what happens next and what's the deal with the licenses? Where is this going to go? What is going on with the backlog? Are they finally going to push for a full on release of everything on DVD Blu-ray because that would be nice to be able to complete the collection since I own just the ones that are currently out, which isn't all of them. They could renegotiate a new deal or it could go to the partner networks that are owned by Disney, which again could also mean Disney Plus. That's very real and that's insane, but we could be there. So this is just another interesting development in terms of licensing, in terms of what could be happening with the future of many of these characters and then there's of course multiple other factors you got to consider here with um you know like retention of contracts with distribution with so many little factors that go here or there that are just beyond talked about in just this video and like this right here for right now if you guys want that i could go deeper into that but it's going to be like another five to eight minute video where i really have to describe a lot of the complexity behind it and try to really get down to the bottom of the most basic terminology to use but again right here you're seeing a seismic shift in terms of distribution and now with you know charlie cox back in the mcu or in the mcu officially vincent d'onofrio you would think disney they want their hands on that footage because then they're free to do with it what they want and that's the big factor here and we just talked about daredevil Topping Nielsen's top 10 years after cancellation. If that doesn't happen, the value is here. 